It's Wednesday afternoon, after work actually. It has now been two days after what you saw in the last beekeeping video. And what you didn't see was that I did put that evacuation board in hive number two to empty that top box so I could split the bottom two. Tonight we're going to attempt, I think it's called a walk away split. But first we need to see if this evacuation board did its job. It looks like the box is mostly empty. My goal is to take this box back, back to the house and enjoy this little bit of honey while I'm splitting this hive. Right now the hive is a deep and a medium. I'm gonna try to put it in two different deeps. That means some of the medium frames are gonna go in a deep and the bees will build on the bottom of the comb or on the bottom of the frame to build it out. We're looking into the medium box right now. I have two of the medium frames over here in this other box. I'm gonna put four more or um, three more of these from the center down into this. I'm hoping there's some brood on it. We're gonna see. Oh yeah, lots of good brood. Because it's a walk away split, from what I understand, I don't really need to be concerned about where the queen is. One of these boxes is going to have a queen, and the other one is not. The one without a queen should make one. Look at all that good brood. It's like a queen cup on the bottom there, but I, I can't see in it. I don't see any eggs. Another queen cup, a couple of queen cups. Bottom, bottom of that. Okay, now we're going to take this medium box off and get into the deep on the bottom. I'd be in a real mess without my suit. Now see, this is a, this is a medium that somewhere in the past, it was put in a deep box, so it's got extra comb on the bottom. That's kind of what I'm going for. Oops. Didn't mean for that to break. And I'm gonna go every other one this is a piece that broke off here. It's got lots of brood in it. There's another little queen cup on the bottom of that one. This one has honey on it, so I'm gonna put it toward the outside of this box over here. So now 
now this medium, this medium now has medium frame, deep, medium deep, every other one, and lots of brood, lots of honey, so it should be a, a complete split. And now we're going to work on setting this one back up. Let me get this hive beetle trap out for just a minute. And these medium frames from this first box are going in here. Woo! One got me. That burns every time. I would like to see the queen just for my own curiosity, but I suspect that I'm not going to with as much that's going on. There's so many bees everywhere. I'm trying to put the ones with honey toward the outside and the ones with brood toward the inside. this evacuation board would have totally evacuated that that box but uh, it didn't and maybe I handled it wrong but there's still a lot of bees coming in and out if you notice I turned both hives sideways facing each other the concept is that the, the box with the queen whichever one it is is going to have the greatest amount of pull to the worker bees that are out because of her smell her pheromones uh, by turning it sideways, it kind of balances out the uh, the drifters, the bees that would go to in, into the hive. Hopefully, there will be a, enough workers going into both hives, drifting back and forth, that the the hive without the queen will have enough workers to to make a queen and make this a successful split. Now I got to figure out how to get the bees off of all these frames that I'm going to take to the house. I think I'm going to have to do that far away from the hive because there's just way too many bees. find a better way to do this. I'm going to have hundreds of bees all over me as long as I have that box full of honey. Last time I solved it just by putting that whole box in the refrigerator and um, the bees that were there were sacrificed. There weren't that many, maybe a hundred bees total. After all the bees were um, off the honey, I brought it back out, warmed it up to room temperature and then I was able to extract it. I think that's what I'm gonna have to do again. I don't know, I, I can't sit here and just brush them off because they're gonna fly around me and get angry and then go right back to the honey. I'm pretty sure Maggie the horse got stung when I was walking back to the house because she came up to say hello while I was carrying that box. She started snorting and stomping. And I'm about to get stung too. Well, I hope I accomplished more than just making one hive very angry. It's, um, it's one of those things that I'm definitely not good at yet, that's splitting hives. Every attempt so far has ended up in failure. 
but I have to keep trying or else I'm just gonna keep buying bees. And right now I have four hives, three very successful, four until tonight. And then I split that fourth one, hoping to take my numbers back to five. But right now I just wanna try my hand at this walk away split on hive number two, hopefully to regain one of the hives that I've already lost. Thank you for joining me on this episode of Beekeeping on Daddy Curb's Farm. I truly enjoy spending this time with you. I look forward to another beekeeping episode soon. Until then, I'll talk to you soon.